Spray it, boy! Uh, spray oh! It. Spray it, boy! Oh! That's a good spray, boy. A little bit lower there. A little bit lower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. So picture this. You just got back from a long hunting expedition with your boys. You are completely out of your birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. You hear a thumping sound coming from the front door. You hear the splintering wood and the door crashing open. You're under a home invasion. You remember a gag gift you got on your last birthday. A variety of joke shotgun shells, variety of exotic different things that are supposed to be good in certain circumstances. Today on Teen Tactical, we're gonna find out just which of those exotic shotgun shells you should use so you can see how she does. Now, in order to properly test this against home invaders, you know, you need to account for different things. Like maybe you might have to shoot through your sheetrock walls. Maybe you're gonna have to get through some plywood or let's say your intruder is behind one of your walls. We have set up a barrier here. Let's say that you are having to shoot through a sheetrock wall. Maybe there is some three quarter inch plywood behind that sheetrock and you're trying to get the intruder on the other side. We're gonna actually shoot five different exotic rounds that we have deemed to be most likely used in a home defense situation. It's probably not dragon's breath. You don't wanna set your home on fire. Probably not arm piercing incendiary rounds, but things that may work or may not work. Let's just see how she does. Like most of the uh, construction in East Tennessee, this here is OSB. It's cheap alternative That's to right. plywood. That's right. Now it may not last as long as plywood, but now you can you can do about anything with it. Make flooring, walls, exterior siding. I mean, about anything around here. It's just enough to hold it all together till you make it big on the water. That's right. That's right. That's all you need to do. The first round we're using is the Fletchet rounds. It contains darts as used during the early Vietnam era to flush out snipers high in trees and heavy brush. The high velocity of approximately 2,000 feet per second prevents deflection by limbs, twigs, and grass. Mm. Let's see how it does against sheetrock and OBS wood. OSB. OSB. All right, fletch it. There it is. It's in, you see it? Oh yes. Yeah. Let's see how she does. Sheetrock vibe check in three, two, one. Well. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Come through here. It looks like if we use the uh, fletch it rounds, oh. our burglar, our burglar will be safe, I think. Look right here, though. Something has escaped. Uh. It's more than I expected for the little fletch the little darts. Yeah, three made it through. One still tumbling, which is pretty impressive honestly let's take a look at our we gotta check out our criminal criminal safe right now criminal is safe very good good yeah. to know that's all about what we expected i'm actually surprised he got through the osb to be honest i would like to know the energy of those things when they came through the other side though were they just kind of like or were they actually still flying enough to hurt next up we have piranha rounds this is a round that's packed with a little bit of teeth to it it is basically just a shot full of steel nails to give your target a bite they won't forget great for home defense they say two and three quarter shell for shotgun use only Ooh, good thing we have a shotgun what you got there boy it's a little morocco of death see all the nails in there <laughs> little old nails honey they're like little framing nails or not Yay. framing more like paneling nails or something yeah they're like little brads it's a shotgun yeah. shell full of brads which right. is terrifying. Homie modeling gone wild in three, two, one. Ooh, that seemed to have a little more kick. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so a little more mass there, coach. <laughs> I just barely missed the home intruder though. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, there's no new holes on the backside. Hey, coach. Yeah. I need you to really focus in on the, 
the freaking nails. Yeah, no, I see them. I see them. Sheet That's look at these nails. That's what's in there. A whole bunch of those. Right through sheetrock. I might have to do a second round just to really properly see the impact it would have on a helmet true. But I don't know. Then again, it didn't get through this, did it? It did not. Uh, so, it did bulge it out slightly and it did blow the wall apart. So we actually lost a lot of force that I think would have driven the nails on through the wall because the wall did come unattached. It wasn't supported on the backside. Rather than break the sheetrock, it uh, just kind of moved it out. I think if that was attached better, if we had more support on that end, I do believe they would have gone through. I truly do. Well, we can fix that. Tim Allen on his home improvement return in three, two, one. <laughs> it did, my brace was a success and my theory, it appears, was in fact correct. <laughs> God, I love science. Woo! We have uh, taken care of the home invader coach. Home invader was thoroughly nailed. We nailed, nailed him, come on. Nailed I'm not going to let you miss that pun. There's no way. Mm. Ooh, I want to smell it too, actually. All right, you know this. This is the, the bolo round. In this case, they call it the, what is it, the macho guacho? <sighs> something like that, yeah. Gaucho, gaucho, something? Yeah, macho gaucho. So <laughs> you've got two, almost one ounce, like three quarter ounce slugs with a wire attached between them. Yay. Kind of excited to see how this one does. You think it'll get through? Yeah, I do. Well, you think the wire will get through? I think it'll be intact, yeah. I think it'll have such a lot of force, it'll just tear wood with it. I don't know. I think the wire's going to tear. Before. You think the wire will snap? Like the bottles will go through, but I think the wire's going to tear. Do we know what gauge the wire is? Did you do the read up on the info? Yeah, I basically covered it. They just say, hey, they used to use these to catch their cows, I'll tell you what. Oh my God. They what, all, cut you... their legs off so they quit <laughs> running? Get the slow-mo camera going here. Our high-speed Phantom on Wish. Yes, <laughs> our wish, Phantom. <laughs> these rounds, they're not free. These were not sent out to us. We bought these with our own money. If you'd like to like, subscribe, tell a couple of friends about us. Say, hey, I know these idiots that like to shoot guns. I like to go shooting with them now on Fridays. It used to be Mondays. Why don't you do that? Why don't you uh, hit us up on Patreon? Why don't you buy a t-shirt? Why don't you come uh, see how it does, see how it feels? to go shooting with us every Friday. We're going shooting Friday. Come shooting with us. Woo! All right, Mato Guacho Bolo in three, two, one. Oh, I, oh, oh, I got it, yeah. My it's raining. God. It's raining <laughs> pina coladas. Well now, uh, honey, uh, it did in fact go through. <laughs> it did in fact. Oh my God. Is that it? Yeah, buddy, it cut it straight in half. Holy <laughs> shit. That would be a bad time for somebody's leg. That's through wood. That's through... <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Look at the... Look at the drywall powder in the pineapple. Look, it's just exploded. That's what makes pina colada white is drywall powder. It exploded coach. The, the, the middle right out. Yeah, it, it blew the lungs right out of it, actually. I'll tell you what. It really did. Uh, look at the splatter that flew backwards towards the wall. It, uh, I think that thing had some rotation on it, maybe. It, it did. The classic Rhodesian jungle are great for in-home defense. The combination of several large pellets surrounded by a mass of smaller pellets allows for double punching power Ooh. to any intruder that is unlucky enough to cross its path. Make the intruder think twice with this double whammer power. If the big pellets don't get you, the small ones will. So the Rhodesian jungle to me looks like the round that you would want for point and click simplicity. You've got six double lot buck. You got a big, big packet of small shot. Gross. That's gonna feel bad no matter where you're standing in the room. I actually expect this one to do the most damage, but that bolo round really uh, kind of surprised me. Fucking lie. Knights of Rhodesia in three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, that's about what I expected. That was my favorite looking round. Yeah, that one's nasty. Look how it peppers around with the oh, big stinger yes. masks there. Oh, yes. That was awesome. Oh, yes. Yeah, it blew out the back out here. We barely got a hold of that one right there. Did it actually damage it all? Just a little, yeah, grazed, just a little bit. We grazed him. Well, look through here. Hey, look in the back here. Well, See? Now, uh, uh, 
It was like a glancing yeah, glow. Yeah, see that. Look at the spray of uh, the cone of drywall dust out behind it there. That was effective. Yeah, and I figured it would be. That's a nasty round. Nasty, nasty. So last up on our list right now, the most interesting shot we have. This is a duck shot. There's really nothing else describing it on the back of the packaging. It's literally just little rubber duckies and what appears to be airsoft pellets in a 12 gauge chalking shell. Low brass. Good low to brass. note that is low brass so it doesn't just obliterate the contents, I guess. Light, super light. Do we think it's gonna even get through any of the material? I don't think that will go through OSB. And honestly, I wanna make sure that you hit it in a place where there's no damage because <laughs> it may even bounce off on the actual uh, on the actual sheetrock. I, I was know. a little concerned shooting this one up close. We might back up on this one. 10-4, good buddy. This is the rubber ducky in three, two, one. Did, uh... <laughs> oh, look at him just smiling at you. What? Hey, a ducky. No, the heads are embedded inside the sheetrock. <laughs> what the crap is this round? Oh, that's great. Well, let's try one more on just plain old pineapple. Oh. All right. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Let's just see how she does. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I guarantee it wouldn't feel good. No. That would definitely draw blood. That would hurt you very badly. Uh, Do you think maybe yeah. the wad did more damage? Probably. Let's just get a little shot of him smiling at you right there by the wad. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want to get hit with it. Yeah, real yeah. bad. I mean, it could kill you. There, there's powder still in this. Look. I can't focus that close. Hang on. Yeah, powder's still in this too. Oh, yeah. Still coming out. It's inside the shell still. Yeah. I think we learned a lot here. I think we learned that, you know, when it comes to these exhaust shotgun shell rounds, in all seriousness, some of them can be pre effective. You may not want to go with the lighter stuff, like the little fletchets or anything like that, but some of the more heavy duty loads, the ones with like the slugs and buckshot built into them, while they might have silly names and kind of weird stacks, they're still really effective. And I think we proved that here today. I think we accomplished a lot here, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. As men of science, I feel like we really science the shit out of this one. Even some the rubber ducky round is gonna dissuade somebody from continuing into your home. I wouldn't want to be hit with it. You can get a flash wound if nothing else. Oh yeah. Maybe. They're all pretty effective, but based on the thickness of your walls, if you have to worry about penetration, it all depends. If you have a wall between you and the, the enemy, then you might want to go some of the heavier rounds. If you have a wall between, say, enemy wall and then a loved one on the other side maybe the fletchet rounds and the nails and stuff would be a better choice for you it's all about being tactical here on tn tactical guys if you enjoy this kind of content make sure to like subscribe comment down below have you ever shot exotic shotgun rounds like we did today i'd love to hear from you we will see you Ah, uh, it's stuck. Next time. No, him. <laughs> ah! Spray and pan ball! Ah! Oh, sh it's a bee swarm, bud. Bee swarm. Holy sh Hey. Hey, everybody. Check this crap out. It's an actual bee swarm moving through. Come back to the beekeeper, daddy. I'm about to myself. Only on TN Tactical would you see an actual bee swarm go by as we're trying to film.